Hello friends, welcome to my channel Cool IT Help. And guys, in this tutorial session, we are going to run TypeScript program in Visual Studio Code. You can say we are going to set up the environment for running a TypeScript program. Guys, you know the TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. And it offers us classes, modules and interfaces to design and develop a robust component. In following steps, we are going to learn to set up the Visual Studio Code for running a TypeScript program. These are the steps in front of you. We are going to follow these steps one by one. So guys, this is very important note. We need Node.js for this tutorial and uh, this must be installed on your system. And you guys can verify it by opening a command prompt on your system by typing a simple command node hyphen hyphen version press enter and we got the message v14.15.0 and after that we will type npm hyphen hyphen version and uh, pressing enter and we will see if everything is fine then we will get the version number that's it guys it's good now we are going to follow the step one in the step one first we need a typescript compiler Visual Studio Code by default have uh, some <coughs> support for the TypeScript, but it doesn't come with the TypeScript compiler. We need to install it. We are going to use the NPM for uh, the installation. We are going to use the Node Package Manager for this. And guys, this is this process is very simple. We have to open the command prompt and we have to type a simple command. Let me show you. So this is the command prompt. And now I'm going to type npm space install space hyphen g space typescript. This is the complete command. And press enter. After pressing enter, we have to wait for a few minutes because this will take some time to install the required package. The TypeScript compiler package on your system and guys TypeScript compiler uh, setup is done and now the prompt is here and cursor is blinking now after the installation our duty to verify that the installation is successful or not to do that we have to type simple command like tsc space hyphen hyphen version on this command prompt and we got it the version number 4.5.4 everything is good till now now we are going to follow the step two in the step two i will show you how to create a typescript project and then how you will create the first typescript file and then how you will write your code let me take you inside the visual studio code so guys this is my visual studio code and we are at this place now we are going to create our first uh, project here so guys first of all you need a folder a folder location where you will save your project files where you will save your program files so I am creating one folder somewhere on my system you can also create a folder for your TypeScript files anywhere so this way a folder is ready now I will come back here in this Visual Studio code go to the file menu click open folder and then just give the path of that folder simply come here and select it within few seconds you will see a message on this accept it and now you on the left hand side in the explorer tab you can see your project folder is ready but there is no file now we have to create the typescript file and we will type these two lines of code and then we will try to run this file so guys come at this place here is the file create file I can click on it and then this will ask you to give the name to your file so I am putting name like my first type script and the extension will be dot ts so type script extension is dot ts and you will see the ts will appear in front of the file name 
Once you press enter, you will see a file is created and this is open here in edit mode. On right hand side, you can type anything. Now we are taking these two lines of code and uh, we will try to run it. So I have just pasted those two lines here and now I'm saving it. Visual Studio Code file by default provides the intelligence for uh, writing the code here in TypeScript. So you can use a lot of features provided by the Visual Studio Code. Now we are not going to follow the step three, we are going to follow the step four and I will uh, show you the step three later after finishing the step four. In the step four, we are going to <coughs> open the terminal and we are going to compile this .ts file. So go to the terminal menu, click on it and you will see the terminal uh, window will appear in the bottom. Now you can simply type this command tsc.cmd then you have to give the file name, the TypeScript file name which we have just created and press enter. And wait for a few seconds and you will see your TypeScript file is compiled and the corresponding JS file is generated in the same project folder. So you can look at there in Explorer. So guys, this JS file is little bit uh, different. There is one uh, simple change that the let is converted to var, which is now becomes a variable. Now, if you want to run this file, simply we need to type a command node space file name dot js. So the compiled file is js. We have to give the name of that. Press enter and you will get the output. So this way you can execute your compiled TypeScript. Now guys, I'm taking you at the point three. In the step three, now I'm taking back to you here. On the step three, in the step three, we are going to change the build output directory. As you have seen here, every time when we, every time when we compile our file, the ts file that corresponding js file will be generated suppose you have a lots of file in your project then all those will be compiled and the corresponding js will be populated in the same folder in some cases you don't want to put your js file at one place so you can create a output folder for that and you can redirect all those files all those compiled files in the output folder so i will show you how you will do it for this purpose we need to create a tsconfig.json file which will be read by the TypeScript compiler and in this file we will give some instruction that I want output folder and all those file, all those compiled file will be moved in this output folder. And guys for this we need to create the tsconfig.json and we are going to use this simple command to create this JSON file, open the terminal and type tsc.cmd space hyphen hyphen in it and press enter. And you will see the message on the terminal, your tsconfig.json file is created. On the left hand side, you can see this file. Once you click on this, the contents of the, this file will be opened here on the right hand side. You can see a lot of things are here, but the useful thing I'm focusing on the output folder. For this, we need to update one uh, value for a key, which is the out directory. So we can redirect our generated JS file in that directory. So we need out directory and we need to set the path for that in this JSON file. Okay, we are back here. Now we need to search it. And here at line number 50, you can see this is commented. Now I will uncomment this and now this is active. And here in the double quotes, we need to give the directory name. So suppose I want to put my compiled TS script file in a folder like output folder. So I will give name like this output. And now I will come back here in the project folder 
and I will click on the create folder and uh, I need to create this output folder here. Now the setup is complete. Now suppose you have a single file and uh, you are going to compile then the output file will be moved in this output folder. We will see this is working or not. So we are going to compile again and then we will see is this working or not. Here we go. I am on the terminal. Now I will type tsc.cmd here and uh, my typescript.ts file press enter. So guys file is generated but not generated inside the output folder. This is ignored by the compiler. So when you running or uh, compiling your single file then this JSON file will be ignored by the compiler. So guys you have to uh, run tsc.cmd on the project folder. So you can say you are going to compile all your files on project level then this file will be considered by the TypeScript compiler. Let me show you. So I am creating another TS script file here for the demonstration and then we will perform the compile on the root level or you can say on the project level or uh, the project folder. So let me create the <coughs> second file and thus the file is created. I will copy the same code here in new file as well and uh, this variable is duplicate I think I need to change it okay and I have just deleted that uh, compiled JS file now guys uh, <clears throat> okay duplicate uh, message so I'm renaming this one and the error error has gone now and now guys we are going to run this command tsc.cmd you can see we are at the project folder and once you run this command without giving any file name so typescript compiler will consider the tsconfig.json file and this will read the instruction that we have just given that output file must be generated inside the output folder or a defined folder. So guys that same thing happened here. I hope you guys got this concept. If you are running this single file, if you are going to compile the single file, then this will not happen. If you run the tsc.cmd command on project folder, then all your files will be recompiled or compiled and that corresponding dot js file will be generated in the given output folder and guys and now we are going to run uh, a single file in this case when we have our output folder then we have to move inside the output folder then we are able to run our particular js file so the compiled version will be executed by the okay in that case we have to type uh, this command node is space the name of the file then press enter then you will get the output this is all about setting up the typescript environment in Visual studio code i hope you guys have clear understanding now and if you guys found this tutorial you can follow the step number five you can hit the like button also you can subscribe us and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help